Hello. In this video, we are going to predict COVID-19 deaths in US using time series profit model. A profit is a time series model, which is an open source library by Facebook. This notebook is available for you to download and make a copy using the link mentioned in the video description section below. The data files which we are going to use in this video is available on this location under data files known as covid19.csv. If you open covid19.csv, you have date, country, confirmed, recovered, and deaths cases for all the countries across the world. We have seen this data set and filtered a lot of things, did some exploratory data analytics on this video, which is introduction to pandas. The link of this YouTube video is also mentioned in the video description section. So I will highly recommend you to watch this introduction to pandas video before you get started with this use case. So now let's talk about this use case. What we are going to do in this is we have data sets which goes till I'm sorry, I'm just scrolling a little fa faster, but we have a data set which is till June 12th. We are going to predict seven days what would be the deaths in US. So let's scroll to the code. So import pandas as pd. The library is imported. Please note that this is a notebook in Google Colab. All you can do is go to file, save a copy in the drive to start running this code. So import pandas as pd. We'll also import matplotlib. You don't have to import this pandas all over again. And you are going to read the CSV, which is the COVID-19.csv from the content. Drive, my drive, collab notebooks. You may create a folder data files and inside those. Please note that the path can be different for your file location. So I ran this and you would see that the data set is for all the countries. Remember, we wanted to filter it for US. I have already explained how you do it using the data frames please watch the introduction to pandas video so here is the all the countries now i'm going to filter the data only for us so data set usa covid data frame country is us and then i'm just going to take the data after first of may and I'm just doing a head and tail of the data set. And by now, you are comfortable, hopefully, with this code. Next, we are going to plot. And I have already plotted this again in the introduction to Pandas video. This is the last time I'm repeating it. So I'm repeating it. So you have plot confirmed cases. And we plotted. The confirmed cases up to 612 and then i'm sorry and then we also wanted to plot confirmed deaths and recovered exactly similar to what i have done in the introduction to pandas video earlier you you can see that the blue line is um, confirmed cases red is deaths and green is recovered cases so this is the deaths the motive of this video is to predict the number of deaths in us moving on this is the crux of this video so importing profit for time series forecasting fb profit as i mentioned is a library from facebook which you can use profit and then deaths equals the data frame dot i lock that means i location now let's look at this data frame data us so i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to say df underscore usa dot head 
and let's look at the data frame. So you look, look at it. The first one, this is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So I just need one and five. That means I need the dates and the number of deaths because I'm gonna predict the number of deaths. So I'm taking this and please note that for forecasting, the profit model or the profit function needs two variables, ds and the y. So ds as date and timestamp and y as the predicted or the target variable. So here I'm renaming the columns date. Date is being renamed as ds and deaths have been has been renamed to y so dates to ds and deaths to y next so i have created a new data frame deaths dot rename the columns and deaths dot tail you would see that there is a column ds with date stamp, timestamp and y as the number of deaths till the last date 12 now, what I want to do is predict the death rate in the next seven days, starting from 612. How would it look like? And therefore, m dot m equals m is just a variable, is a profit interval with 0.95, meaning I'm looking for at least 95% confidence. M dot fit is m dot fit is fitting the model and deaths is the data frame. So deaths is the data frame which I, we created earlier. Then you have future deaths, uh, dates. So future is m dot make future data frame, which is a function. That means the last date, which is 612 in the data, so in the COVID-19 data set, the last date which you can find out is 612. And therefore, I want to add seven more days beyond 612. And that is the code. And then you have future.tail8. So tail8. So 612 is the first one. And then seven future, that goes to 619. I execute this. And now I'm going to do a forecasting. So forecast equals m dot predict future. Next, forecast dot round. So I just, because obviously the deaths cannot be in decimals and therefore I am rounding it to the zero. And this forecast has lot of attributes, columns, but I'm just limiting it to ds, y hat, that means the predicted value, y hat lowered, y cap remember the the variable y cap in mathematics that's why the name y hat so this is the lower band this is the upper band and this is the median so it's predicting that on june 13th the number of deaths possibly based on the data expo, extra extrapolation is going to be 115656 cases in us so on and so forth by 619, based on the extrapolation of data sets, it can be 120,000. And then you can plot this data set. What this plot tells you is, m dot plot forecast tells you is the dotted, the dots are the actual values. And the line is the predicted value. If you look at it, the dot ends around 612 that means actuals do not exist beyond that and beyond that this is the median this is y hat this is y hat upper and this is y hat lower here let's take this example so y hat is 11578 lower 11634 that means maximum it is it could be 116 434 the minimum would be 115,578, and median would be 116,060. That is the band which it shows here. You saw now how easy 
it was to do a time series forecasting in using profit what i wanted you to do is make a copy of this notebook which is available in the link given below the google drive link given below in the video description section and start doing it today as an exercise i would like you to predict the number of confirmed cases the number of recoveries and the number of deaths thank you for watching